For the last 60 days, I've endured Insanity Max 30. But I liked it so much that I did two rounds. And today, I want to provide you with my Insanity Max 30 review. Let you know all about it. I'll share with you my results. I'll share with you what I like and what I don't like about the program. And I'll share with you some tips so that if you're looking at buying this program, you can make the right decision if it's right for you or not. And can anybody do this program? Let's find out. The first thing I want to do is share my results. Because that's like the most important thing, right? Like, hey, did you get results, dude, or what? Is it worth the money? Okay, here we go. These are my Insanity Max 30 results after two rounds. I went from 219 pounds. And you know what, guys? I started this thing in January. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. If you follow my fitness journey, I fell into a bad diet regimen. And I had one too many cookies during Christmas. So it kind of bit me in the butt. So I got myself up to 219, not happy about it, and it's never going to happen again. But uh, thanks to Max 30, I went down to 188 pounds. So that's a total of 31 pounds that I lost with the two rounds that I did. And uh, my waist, you know, my stomach, my waist went from 39 and a half to 33 inches. So a total loss there of 6.5 inches. So if you're wondering, well, what was your results after the first 60 days? Because Insanity Max 30 is a total of 60 days or two months. That is my results right there of the first round. The reason I did two rounds is I actually enjoyed the program. But let me first be honest with you. I was not a fan and I did not like the original Insanity by Sean T. Why didn't I like the original Insanity? Because I just felt like I, I don't know, it was just something about the flow of it or how the moves went or maybe the intense, the cardio consistently or maybe the fact that it was longer than 30 minutes. It was 45 to 60 minutes a day. I don't know. Honestly, for some reason, I still cannot put my finger on why I didn't like Insanity. But reluctantly, I said, let me try Max 30. It's new. I like the idea of 30 minutes a day. Let's see what it can do. So you start out with month one. And month one is a series of DVDs, right? And there are things like the Cardio Challenge, Tabata Power, and Tabata Strength, which are Tabata-style fitness routines. Basically, you do a move, for example, 45 seconds on, and then you get a little bit of rest, and then you do another power move. And the goal is to help build up your strength, build up your muscle foundation, and, of course, not get you bulky because you're using your own body for the resistance. Guys, you don't have to use equipment at all. How awesome is that? Very cool indeed. The next thing is, is it's only five days a week. So you don't have to waste your time going to the gym seven days a week. You don't have to do anything crazy. Five days a week, 30 minutes a day. You saw my results. It's not like you need more. I didn't sub in extra workouts. I didn't go for a run in the afternoon. I didn't go crazy. I just did Insanity Max 30. That's it, guys. Why is it different than in the original Insanity? Well, it's this whole idea of max out. Like you need to max out, which basically means you go and you push yourself to the absolute limit. So that was my mindset. I'm going to push myself and do what I can. And when I can't finish a move, when I'm just like, okay, I'm burned out, I got to stop. Or I hit the pause button or I need to get water before or after like a water break. So in other words, a water break that's not already programmed into the workout, well, you've maxed out. If you're somebody out there that you're a little bit overweight and you're really in, you're thinking to yourself, well, wait a minute. Could I actually do this? Or is this for like semi-fat people, semi-fit people? I'm really overweight. Well, you can modify it. And you can still max out when you modify it. Let's say, for example, you can't do the crazy like, you know, chest opener jacks. Maybe you can only like maybe open your arms up and tap your foot from side to side. That's okay because that is your fitness level. So what I would suggest is that you do that. And then when you when you have enough of that, when you say, okay, my heart's racing. I got to stop. Oh my gosh. That's your max out time. And you can follow along with an on-screen modifier that's literally frozen on the screen. Each day is something different. It's not nail yourself to the ground cardio every single day. But let me share something very important with you. You got to make sure that you nail down the nutrition. In the deluxe kit, which I do recommend because it comes with extra ab workouts, which are awesome, you get these. These are basically containers. And I know it seems kind of basic, but here's why I love this. This literally tells you, like, for example, this means fruit. This means vegetables. This means um, healthy fats. You literally measure out what you need to eat. So, for example, you can have, like, three purples, three fruits a day. And I said, you know what? I'm going to follow this nutrition plan to a T. And so I did. And as basic as, like, a container, a piece of plastic, would like, this actually worked. 
And it made me not only feel good about what I was eating, it made me feel good energetically. Like I, I had so much energy to do my Max 30 workouts because I was eating the right type of foods. So that's my Insanity Max 30 review. I really enjoyed this program. I think it kicks butt. I'm going to be doing it again and again and again, and I can't wait for other people to join me, get their free shirt, and keep maxing out. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have an awesome, awesome day.